Hello, everyone. Uh, before this uh, semester gets underway too far, what we're going to do is uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly save your work uh, for multiple reasons. One, we want to be able to open our projects back up just in case we're not done and not be able to um, uh, not lose any of our work. And also, just in case we mess something up and have to fix it, um, we want to save our edit history so this way if we um, we do mess up and we save it and we leave and we come back, uh, we want to be able to, to go back, otherwise we would have to start the project over. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to File and you're going to make sure that right here is selected, that Save History with Document. What that does is it saves all your edits down in your history bar. So basically everything that I'm doing right here, as you can see I'm going through this history bar right here, um, all that stuff will be saved with the file. If you do not have that checked, when you log in the next time and you open up your file, all the, these edits are going to be gone and you're not going to be able to undo anything. So say you screw up on your last uh, step and you want to get rid of that, if you don't save it this way, basically you're going to wind up having to redo your project, which uh, is not fun. Now this creates a larger file, so this way if you're doing uh, buy this product and you put it on your own uh, laptop or desktop or whatever it may be, uh, and you don't have a lot of space on your computer, this may not necessarily be the best option, but seeing that our computers have plenty of space, um, we're going to click the Save uh, History document. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit Save As. You're going to name the project after um, the actual um, project itself. So um, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go open up the project that you were assigned, highlight the name of the assignment, and then hit Command C. Command C is the shortcut for copy. Then you're going to go in and you're going to hit Command V, as in Victor, to paste that. And then you hit just dash your name. I'm going to literally write your name, uh, however you're going to write your. So if my full name's Adam Anderson, so I would type Adam Anderson. Then I'm going to hit Save. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File again. I'm going to hit export. This export file is the important one because this is the one that you're going to turn into me. If you turn in the AF photo file, which is that first thing that we saved, um, I'm not going to be able to see your work. I'm going to have to download it. After I download it, I'm going to have to open it up. And then if it stalls, it, it just can create a problem and snowball of issues. And it's a lot less uh, time consuming for you guys just to upload these exports and then I can give you a grade right away. If you do not turn in this JPEG, which is what we're selecting, it's the second option right here, the green one. Uh, if you don't turn this one in, I'm not gonna grade your project. I'm gonna send it back to you and ask you to resubmit. Uh, and then you may ensue any late penalties that uh, may occur. All right, so now that I've hit the export button, I've hit JPEG. After you click it the first time, it should come up every time. Now I'm gonna hit export. You'll notice that it'll automatically save as what you had saved it before. Hit save. You now have that JPEG. You would then return to the project itself. Um, me, I'm looking at it on the teacher's end, so you would have, uh, obviously yours is gonna look a little different. If you have any questions, let me know.